I'm going to give you a look into my creative process and show you how I make an instrumental song from scratch. Okay, so the first step is I've opened up a Logic session and I've named the track Anchor. Sounds like a good enough name. Let's go with that. For this song, I'm thinking, let's go with a medium to slow tempo. And I'm going to just tap it out onto this app. It's called Music Math. Okay, so it's telling me that's about 95 beats per minute, 95 BPM. So let me just plug that into my project session here. When you're being creative, it's always good to bring in a new sound or a new instrument, something that you're not necessarily familiar with, and that can create some inspiration. Now, I've just downloaded a new software sent through a company called Output. I'm going to use that to inspire me to create the song Anchor. And the name of the synth is called um, Analog Strings. So I'm going to cruise around the presets here and find something that gets my attention. Let's see what that sounds like. Two, three. All right. It's very interesting. Let's quantize that puppy. Let's see what happens. Now I also like to bounce when I come up with these little ideas, these little thoughts. I like to bounce them so that it saves horsepower on the computer. Because if I was to load multiple instances of um, analog strings, it would just slow and bog things down. What else we got? Sustained adrenaline. <laughs> That would be cool for a breakdown. sort of thinking about song structure. I'm thinking the first kind of set of this is kind of like almost an intro where we can affect it or do something interesting to it. And then you've got these two guys which lead you into the chorus. And then you come back and you do that. And then maybe we go into the chorus again. And then after the chorus, we go into a bridge type thing. And then back to the chorus, chorus, and you're out. Let me grab a guitar. Sometimes it's kind of fun to just pull out drummer. So it gives you these sort of uh, sections that you can drag and drop, and move around. And you can program them based on what you need to have happen. Okay, I gave the song a couple more listens and um, making progress. There are some parts that I'm not super happy with, so I'm gonna make some adjustments there and see what we come up with. Every now and then you get to a point where you just have to disengage. The song is gonna make you crazy, so do something else for a little bit and then come back to it. Okay, so some of the areas that I need to refine right now are the drums. The drum sounds are very basic because I used a drummer uh, program instead of actually programming the drums. And it's pulling from some standard Logic drum samples, which are a little bit lackluster. So I have my laptop with me. I'm going to head to the coffee shop and work on dialing in some cool drum beats. And after that, we're going to get back into the studio and record some additional live percussion and maybe even some guitar parts. Okay, so I just finished recording some bass, percussion, guitar, and synth parts. The percussion parts actually included a moving box, which was pretty cool. I've also gone through and 
organized things. Similar instruments are color-coded, so all these drums, you've got an orange and yellow, so these are synth parts in green, intro synth parts, which I've grouped, and acoustic guitar and electric guitar. So I've got a slap bass part that I played. So I layered the slap bass with a Moog bass part. I'll let you listen to that here. Now we added some other little guitar parts here. Here's what the boxes sound like. So here's a cool trick. On this box, I actually tuned it so that it would be in the same key as the song. So I highlighted frequencies in the EQ. You'll see these little peaks here. The key of the song is an E. It's an E minor, so I've got E's and G's, which is the minor third. Um, those frequencies accentuated in this EQ. So you can find those frequencies by looking at your music math app and there's a little um, note frequency calculator in there so check out the music math app if you haven't already and I added percussion I added some synthesizer some additional guitar parts and that funky bass line and a guitar lead which I may decide to keep or I may decide to mute. If you run into challenges creating transitions from a verse to a chorus to a bridge, that sort of thing, I did another video on that topic and I'll link it on the screen for you. So that's it. So let's listen to the song. <laughs> 